If you're tuning in right now, you happen to be watching the world's truest source for hip-hop news, black culture, sports, and of course the best reaction videos on the net. I'm talking about Kofi's Universe. If you haven't already subscribed, it's your chance to hit that button now before I hit this blunt. Bada. YouTube salute. Lloyd Banks speaks on almost signing to Kanye's label Good Music. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up that video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content, go live, listen to this audio, y'all. There was a moment you were supposed to sign with good music. Is that happening? It was, it was um, after, whatever would have happened after that. Right, kind of like, person at one point, Good music, man. Oh, wow. On the Christian Dior denim flow and all yeah. that stuff. I was on other records too. Never came out or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I was probably like, what, 2011? Yeah, around that time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So in 2010, 11, shout out. That interview is from, um, before I continue, that's from um, Rap Radar. Thanks was on Rap Radar um, podcast. If you want to check out the full interview, check out the full interview. But um, in 2010-11, that's when Kanye was doing his thing with the good music compilation. You know, he had Big Sean, Pusha T, you know, um, Tiana Taylor, like all these people that he was actually pushing. And let everybody know, this is, these are my new wave from my label. Now, imagine Lloyd Banks coming out at that time. Imagine him coming out that time, y'all. Like he said, um, there's tracks that he never, he was on, but never got released. I'm curious to know what tracks he was on. Because in 2010, I believe Lloyd Banks, no, 2010, 2011, Lloyd Banks dropped The Hunger for More 2. Remember that? So he already had some um, singles buzzing. He had to start it up. Remember with Fabulous? Um, who was else on that track? I know the remix was with Jeezy. Um, Kanye West is on that star. I'm sorry, Kanye West, Fabulous, Remix, and Jeezy had it. Um, Beamer, Benz, and Bentley had um, Joel Santana. And um, damn, 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 damn. Um, is somebody else. Was it Fab on there? Damn, probably was Fab. I know. But that album was dope. That was a dope album. So he already had a little buzz. People thought, okay, Banks is back. Banks trying to do his thing, yada, yada, yada. And he was already dropping mixtapes too, so that would have actually worked out good for him if he would have came out on good music. But who knows that situation? We don't know if 50 was blocking him or not. We don't know what's going on because there's always something behind the scenes that we do not know about. Also, Banks is getting ready to drop Cody 3, April 21st. Cody 3, April 21st, yes. And it's supposed to be 16 tracks. 16 tracks. And I'm I'm a definitely read off some of the features for y'all so y'all can kind of know who banks is going to but um who banks is going to um have on there give me one second i know he has cormega cormega's on there method man is definitely on the album um he has you know why this is tripping okay he has um Votto twice 38 special tony ayo dave east 16 tracks Producers by George Jetson, Oz, Amadi, d Don, Cartoon Beats, The Germ. Those are the producers only, whatever. So April 21st, 16 tracks. Um, the features I named. So definitely looking forward to that album to do my review. Post your comments below. Hoax Mash, Black Panther, the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.